the uh, quick succession of broadcasts today. But anyway, listen, it's great to see you. If you want loads of free help, loads of free advice, that's why I do these broadcasts. You'll find more free help and advice in Septic Tank TV. Just type in Septic Tank TV if you want to see more of me. Or if you want to ring me, then just go to Septic Tank. Don't, I can't even say it. SeptictTank.co.uk, give me a ring, and I look forward to helping you for free. Okay, so I'm answering the question today, which is, <clears throat> how deep can a septic tank be buried? Now, this is a very, very good question. So let's do a baseline here. So this is the grass, all right? So that's the grass. Now, how deep can a septic tank be buried? Well, I suppose there is no real depth <laughs> to which you can or you can't bury a septic tank, but whether it would work or function properly is a different ball game. So just sticking within normal <laughs> limitations here, right? All right, so let's say this is your grass, all right? And let's do a little graph here. So let's say, that that is let's get get let's put a little height chart on here if i put a little height chart on here right then we can actually get some measurements so can you see that so if i said that the total depth of that was say that was um uh let's say all right let, let's play it safe here. let's say that's five meters all right, in, in, in old money, that's 15 foot. All right, so let's say the water table, that's where the water table is. All right, so let's say in this instance, you couldn't go down any deeper than that because you've got the water table down at that level. Let me just straighten that line up there. All right, so let me just do this here. All right. Now... If I just deal with two types of septic tanks at the moment, then you'll get an understanding of where I'm coming from, what's easier and what's harder. So there's two types of septic tanks on the UK market. There's the bottle-shaped, onion-shaped septic tanks, and there's low-profile tanks. So typically, typically, an onion-shaped septic tank, right, is about... Oh, man alive. About, they start, the holes are something like 10, to have been 11 feet down, something like that. Whereas the low profile ones, kind of more like that. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, I mean, so you're looking about four and a half feet, you can get these onion ones, uh, uh, these low profile ones. So you can see the difference between the um the whole depth right so on on the low profile septic tank obviously the hole is a lot shallower than it would be for the onion shaped septic tank so for that reason low profile bullet shaped septic tanks are a lot easier to install but that isn't the point how deep can a septic tank be buried well the thing is right is you've got to think of two factors number one the depth or the length of the extension neck you're going to need right so let's put the two how much room have i got here right there's two there's two factors here to consider right right the um uh, height of extension neck and have I got enough room there? Yeah, I have. I'm looking around because I've got a monitor there which shows me, you know, when it actually goes off the camera here. And number two would be uh, a soak away, a soak away. So those are the two considerations which I'll explain now. You see, why people would have to uh, bury a septic tank deeper is because they're matching up with existing drainage work. So let's say... Right. Let's say if they were just put in normally, let's say the actual pipe, the existing drainage pipe was here. So if that was the reason you'd have to lower, right, the height, i.e. dig a deeper hole 
for both of these tanks. So let me just do a deeper hole now. So that was baseline, right? So those those the ones I just drew you then were how they generally in good in normal situations where you're putting um, uh, a new septic tank in and you're you're putting in new pipe work, then you won't obviously have to sink it deeper down to match up with the existing pipe work. Okay, so those two examples I gave you were typical examples of a new build, right? So in this situation, here's the existing pipe work. Look, existing pipe work pipes there, right? And so now we've got to lower the tank. So let's say that is now, we've had to sink it deeper into the ground, okay, to match up with this pipework. So suddenly the lid is now here, look. <laughs> it's like we've been two foot under the soil. Even with a low profile tank as well, even with one of the shallow ones. That's going to be the height of the lid. So if that's the if that's the case, right? If that's the case, then obviously now you need to put what's called a riser on. A riser is look something like that. A riser, okay, is an extension neck. Riser or extension. All right? And so the riser would go on here, look like so, and it would go on here, like so. And uh, the optional extras that you can buy with that, and that would then mean, instead of the lid being here now, you can actually put the lid on flush with the grass. And so how deep can a septic tank be buried? Well, reasonably, if in this instance, if the water table was something 15 foot below, I mean, you're getting awfully close now with the onion tank, aren't you? You've still got a lot of play with the low profile tanks because they haven't got such a deeper sump. So, again, it really does um, boil down to what <laughs> is under the ground when you start digging. Is it rock? I mean, in some instances, right, <coughs> in Yorkshire, literally 10 foot below the grass you're hitting bedrock right in this instance i've given you an example of a water table 15 foot down so it depends on what you're going to find when you start digging but let's say you haven't got any obstacles right you haven't got any water tables and you haven't got any bedrock let's say it's on chalk and it's on sand then in reality you can normally buy these risers they're normally one meter right in height okay they're normally one meter in height and um septic tank companies won't insure or warranty the septic tanks if they go deeper than one meter so one meter is is generally the recommended rule of thumb that's the maximum depth that most companies will say we don't want you to sink our tank any deeper because what happens is the deeper you go right the more pressure is exerted onto the septic tank which could crush it which could crack it if it didn't crush it or it didn't crash it you've then got external forces as well say there's water in there say the ground is 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 waterlogged right because you're getting near the water table you'll get other external factors and if it won't crush the tank it'll push it back back up out of the ground secondly if you put like two meters of extension uh, necks on there again you're going to have the problem of the ground pushing in and crushing the extension neck secondly i mean i'm six foot tall right once you start flaming putting the tank down the flame and hell i mean 15 foot down and then put another six foot on top of it you're like 20 foot down and so you've got to if you get any problems that develop inside the septic tank and you need to go and try and fix it you've got to flipping like put your diving suit on and be lowered down into it and flipping try and fix it it becomes an impossible job trying to fix the tank the deeper down it goes so how deep can a septic tank be buried well Best case scenario, build 
put it, install it as shallow as possible. Worst case scenario, try not to go any further down than one meter, you know, of extension. Rises. Okay, so I've explained number one there, right? The height and the extension there. Number two, which is probably even the most important factor here, is the soak away. Because the deeper down you go, the harder it is going to be for the water to soak away. Let me explain why. All right, let me explain why. So let's just stick with the onion shaped septic tank here. All right, so let me just get that off right so <clears throat> let's say you've had to put a meter riser on here so there's a meter riser right so that's your riser okay so if i put there riser okay so before the riser before the riser was put on the outlet pipe for this tank would have been here That means you could have started making the soak away about here. Okay, so it's a lot nearer the grass. Now, because it's been sunk down, because you've put the septic tank deeper into the ground, the outlet pipe in reality is now here. Okay, so that would have been the original position. But now <laughs> the soak away is going to be here. Right, so instead of saying like being, you know, if it been uh, three foot, right, it's probably, it's three or five, six, seven. It's like now seven to nine foot below the grass. Now, in terms of when you're installing a soak away, flipping heck, half a foot increments really do make a difference because there's your grass there. Now, always, right, on the grass, just below your grass, you always get a layer of topsoil. So it's typically like a foot to a foot and a half below the grass, okay? Now, when you start getting below the topsoil, when you start getting here, in fact, what can I use to do? All right, I'm going to use the red pen. Once you start getting below that, you start getting into clay. And once you start getting into clay, oh, man, alive. Flipping it. The size of the soak away has got to get bigger and bigger and bigger till it's like the size of a flipping football pitch, stuff like that. So, so whereas in here, the water is draining away nicely, once you start getting to seven to nine foot plus below the grass, the water in the soak away, it just cannot drain away because you've sunk it down like another meter, another three foot below its original height. So how deep can a septic tank be buried? Again, the answer is it needs to be as shallow as possible. So without a doubt, I'd go for a low profile septic tank that doesn't need concreting. That means this is an onion tank. I've used the onion tank not to demonize it, but just to show you that um, uh, why people don't use them much anymore because, you know, you have to put the soak away really, really low down and deep on it. They just don't work. And, oh, man, and imagine you've got to try and fix that flipping soak away that's like 10 foot below the grass. Oh, man, you've got to get your crew in again and your diggers and whatever. So, so it, how deep can a shallow... Uh, can a septic tank be buried as shallow as possible? <laughs> that is my answer to that, right? As shallow as possible, right? Because there you go. So that's the pitfalls of putting a septic tank deeper than it needs to go. In some instances, you can't help it because you have to meet up with existing pipework. If that's the case, as I said, you have to put additional risers on and you have to spend out hundreds, probably thousands more, to make a massive soak away, oh man, it just gets really, really complicated. So I hope that's answered your question. And um, I'm just gonna rub this out now. So thank you very much for taking the time to uh, watch this live broadcast again. Uh, again, today, I mean. 
And if you want more free help and free advice, then you can do one or two things, right? You can either go to Septic Tank TV. Just type in Septic Tank TV and you can see more of me. <laughs> and it's free. Or you can go to septictank.co.uk and, uh, you know, just give me a ring. And as I said, I love doing these broadcasts because I just want to help people, give them free help, free advice, won't cost you a penny. Give me a ring. And um, I look forward to speaking to you soon.